Hey guys and gals, A here. Welcome to another episode of EDC. So today I am talking a new bag that I got. Want to know what that bag is and my thoughts on it? Come on back because here we go. All right, guys and gals. So I am an alpaca gear ambassador. Uh, I get to try out some products that they'll send to me and give them a test run and then let you guys know what I think on them. And so when I do products in that way, I don't actually pay for them um, at all. I, uh, I get to kind of test them out and then let you know my thoughts on them. Um, however, they do know that I will give you my honest opinion. If I like them, I'm going to tell you I like them. And if I don't, I'm going to tell you why not. And I have a rating system on my um, little short reviews that I do. And I use that rating system on these. So at the end of this video, I will give you my rating for, you know, where the bag is and in, in my opinion and how it compares, you know, um, in, in my rating system to other items that I have reviewed. And so this is the Elements Tech Case. So this is a, this is a uh, pouch that comes with the strap here that I have added on to this bag, but you can take it off. Um, it clips right on the end. So you would push down on this and the metal will pop up like gets get a little pressure on the back here but you push it and that thing pops up and you can slide it right on out you can do that to both sides and so this is the uh, the clip you squeeze the plastic together and this will slide over and hook in and then you squeeze it together and it'll come off and so that's how this this strap works which I think is very cool you can choose to just carry this as a tech pouch inside of another bag in which case you might not want the strap on so you could just remove this fill this up with all your tech gear or whatever kind of gear you want it to hold and then just kind of drop this into your bag and you're ready to rock and roll or you can do as I do and go ahead and get this thing ready with the strap on it in which case I carry it like a sling bag so just like that it sits right here on the side I can throw it around to my back and I'm good to go pull it back around and I'm here, I can pull it up front and access what's in it, but this is, this is kind of where it rides on me, just like that. And it, it even gives me kind of a armrest spot. But so this bag, the Elements Tech Case, retails for $79, and it has two, two pockets. It has this front pocket here, which is a zippered pocket, and then the main pocket here, which goes from right down here to right down here so that is a full clamshell opening uh, the bag will actually uh, if it didn't have the side pieces in here you could actually like lay this bag fully open but it does have uh, side pieces in here that prevent that from happening this is in their olive green uh, x-pack material really great it has a little diamond uh, diamond texture in here uh, and it feels great uh, the uh, the uh, covering here over the zippers on both of them will help this with the waterproofness, water resistantness, as well as this. This material, water just kind of beads up on and rolls off. Like excellent, excellent material for waterproofness. And then the back is a nice, uh, it is a different material, but feels very good against the against your yourself. You know, like this, if this was against you, you'd be making noise all the time. This doesn't make quite as much noise as if this was against you. So very well thought out in that area. And I love this olive green color. Like I, I love olive green, I dig it. And this one is just awesome. And it's coming up fairly true to color on camera. Like what I'm seeing here is what it looks like there. So you guys are getting a fairly good, it might be a little deeper than you're seeing. That looks a little shiny, but uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a nice, deep, rich olive green. So really, really dig that. And let's just kind of dive in here and see what I've got. So this front pocket, now I do have it currently in this, uh, in this configuration, I have it set up as a tech bag. Um, if I were gonna use this as my EDC bag, 
it would hold all of my gear and more. This will hold more than the average sling bag that I've been carrying. I would just have to lay it out differently and you'll see that here in just a second why. But uh, I currently have it set up as a tech bag because that's what it is and it holds that stuff wonderfully and you can organize it. But for myself, when I put this into my use, I'm gonna use it as an EDC bag. And so I will do a follow-up video showing you what this looks like with EDC contents in it. But right now, tech bag, tech gear. So let's roll with that. Inside of the front, I made my cleaning po pocket. So I've got a few wet ones just in case I need to be cleaned up or my gear gets messy and needs to be cleaned up and a wet one will not hurt whatever it is. And then the other thing I have is a hank that has the microfiber side. So I can clean my tech pieces with that. So that is all that is in here. It is the high-vis orange interior and this pocket goes the full distance in here. So you can actually put a lot of stuff in here. And you can see on the edge is the way it is sewn. It does allow this pocket to come out as opposed to go in. A lot of pockets, when you fill it up, if you add you know a lot of stuff into here, it's gonna take up space in the bag. They have stitched this on purpose where it will take space out of the bag, which is excellent because that means even though the inside of this pack is crammed full right now, I can still add more than just these two wipes and this hank. I could add much more and bulk it out on the outside. And then let's go ahead and open this sucker up. I'm gonna open these all the way down. And so this bag, is going to expand accordion style which is very cool uh, not only does it allow it to open up and you get really good access to your gear but they have also put in the accordion style there's a divider here 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 and then two little pockets on the back so you have excellent areas to disperse your stuff so the side you are looking at now is actually the front of the bag there is a pin loop there, and on the inside of that, I have a uh, Pilot Precise V5 pin sitting right in that little loop right there. You could put a, sh a Sharpie, a permit marker, whatever you want. And then right here, we have two pockets. And so on this side, I have my lightning cable. And then on this side, I have both a uh, USB-C and a micro USB cable. So we should be ready to handle whatever kind of charging we need to with all three of those cables. And then you have the first pocket here. I have that one empty. And then we have this divider and this divider actually has some rigidity to it. Like it is not just floppy around. That has a little bit of rigidity. So it's gonna hold whatever is on either side separate. Inside of this next compartment, I have a five by seven right in the rain notebook. Fits perfectly fits perfectly like it was made for a five by seven notebook. And then this next divider is more rigid than the, the previous one. And that is because it has a zipper in here. So you can actually unzip this and inside of this zippered compartment, you have a pocket as well as you have three small divided pockets sitting up top. So that would be a great place for you to keep like, um, thumb drives, uh, USB drives if you had them, memory cards for your cameras, but those are three small pockets. This one is long, and then the two on either side are the same depth, but they're just like half the length. So excellent to keep your small gear organized, which I love. If you were keeping a um, one of the um, SIM ejector things in a bag, excellent pocket to keep those, because those disappear so fast. And then you have just the big pocket itself right there. And then you have another section here. And inside of that, I have my battery bank. This is a, let's see if I can find it. This is a 30,800. So this is not a small battery bank. Fits in here like a dream. And then separating that, we have another divider. This is another pocket divider. And this one is just a standard pocket. No pockets inside of the pockets on that one. And I don't have anything in either of those zipper compartments yet. And then I got to the end of this bag and was like, well, what else can I put in here? And so I put 
my fix it kit so this whole this pouch right here is not small by any means and it fits right here drop that thing in and with all of this gear in here which is that is a lot of stuff to be inside of a bag not a problem and it doesn't feel like a ton of weight I mean I have a little toolkit in there so it's not small by any means and it's not like it all holds it like a dream and so this is an excellent tech kit setup. Obviously you could add more stuff. Right behind me, I have one of the like small rectangular mouses um, for my iPad. I could drop that in one in here super easily. I could add another battery bank if I needed it, more cables, whatever kind you needed. Um, I could add, you know, whatever tech items you need and have a really full and complete tech bag. If you wanted to, to put one of your charging blocks in here, uh, so that you could plug into a wall outlet. Go for it, plenty of room for that in here. Uh, so lots of capabilities uh, to carry this. And like I said, not only does it make an excellent tech bag, which we just proved, but I am going to uh, load this up with EDC gear and I will carry that around for a while like that and get back to you guys on how it carries that. But the high-vis interior, the separation of pockets, the, uh, the fact that some of those uh, dividers have pockets in them and pockets inside of the pockets, just an excellent way to store your gear and have it organized and separate from each other. And that's why I think it would make an awesome EDC bag is you could have knives and flashlights in here and multi-tools that do not rub against each other and scratch each other. Plenty of separation in here so that does not happen. So uh, this bag, $79, this is the olive green material, weatherproof fabric, the removable strap, the waterproof zippers, um, built for tech, but definitely has the ability to, to do a whole lot more. And these are YKK zippers. They're not playing around with their materials. So when I do my little reviews, I do, uh, I do this tiered system here of uh, option number one is I would return it. Like I disliked an item so much, I'm sending it back. The second is I would accept. I'm not gonna spend my own money on it, but if I got it as a gift, I'd be stoked and I'd use it. Uh, the third option is I would buy. I would actually spend my own money on this product. Uh, the fourth option is I would, I would replace. If something happened and it was damaged or lost, I liked it so much, I would buy it again. And the last is I would buy multiples. I like this item so much that I would buy multiples of them. So being that uh, for me personally, I don't really need a tech bag right now. I'm not uh, traveling into an office that often uh, to where I would need a tech bag. I work from home. I do this YouTube stuff. So for me, this is going to become an EDC bag, not a tech bag. If it were a tech bag and I was going to leave it as it is set up, I would buy a second one and that one would become my EDC bag for temporary. So for me personally, because I'm going to use this as an EDC bag, I'm going to put this in the wood replace category. I'm going to switch this up to my EDC bag. And if something happened to it, I would buy another one to replace it. But if I did need a dedicated tech bag, then this would be a wood by multiples. And this one right here would stay as my tech bag. And I would have a second one that would be my EDC bag because I cannot tell you how excited I am to run this in the EDC setup. So uh, this bag comes in, I think it has like seven or eight color options, different materials, different colors. So definitely check them out. I will have a link below as well as a discount code. I'll have a discount code below you can use to get 10% off anything at Alpaca Gear and it's your whole order. So if you buy five items, 10% off of everything. If you buy one item, 10% off of everything, doesn't matter. So use that code below. Uh, definitely let me know what you think of Alpaca Gear and if you have tried their Elements Tech Case, what you think of it. I love this thing. Absolutely love it. So guys, I hope you're having a great time. I will never ask you to like or subscribe. You do you, but I would appreciate it if you did below. Definitely comment below on what you think of this item or alpaca gear in general, and uh, I'll be back with some new videos soon. Remember, EDC, EDC.